Happy Wednesday, everybody. This is a pick a card reading for today, Wednesday, September 29th. You pick a card. It's your main energy, but I pull them all together. So cards are for all of us. And September 29th birthdays, we'll do your reading next. If you pick card number one, you have the full. It's a major arcana. Remember, this is a major arcana are important. And this is then a significant day for you. Today, whoever picked this card, well, a lot of you. There's different energies, but there is something that you either need to let go of and it's going to create a whole new path. We don't know where we're going with it. It's future, it's destiny, it's a new beginning, but it's a blasé type of energy. So if there there is a sense of forgiveness, forgive or needing forgiveness, whatever it is, and just kind of um, go with the flow is what I'm feeling for some of you. For others of you, there could be some exciting news with home. Maybe it's a new home or family dynamics or a relationship and um, you're like feeling just great. And it's like, again, it's like this whole new future is opening up for you. This is a time just to relax, take some time off, go on an adventure. You know, there is that energy. Take some time for yourself. Um, there is a yes answer. So I may have a question and it's a yes. And I do feel also, for some reason, if this is a wish or something, it's working towards, I know this is going to be weird, next summer. Now, that's the date is between June 22nd. Even if you live somewhere where summer is different, I'm going by the dates, which is June 22nd. That's what I'm picking up because this is where I live. June 22nd and on. Interesting, huh? Card number two is the Page of Cups. Okay. Today can be a day where you could be toying with some ideas. Um, and um, you're trying to do what you like. Um, I feel you need to retreat a little. You know, take some time down. Uh, retreat, watch the emotions or people around you. But there is um, loving, caring energy around. You may hear some good news. Um, so I do feel that energy. There are some struggles and challenges. Um, I feel this could be internal channel challenges, just like trying to get things done or you're anticipating them. I don't know. I want to say there can be some jealousy that surrounds you today. Okay. This is a time to move forward. Okay, there's something procrast that you're procrastinating here, but you need to move forward. Okay, because this is a rebirthing anyway. There can be um an open line of communications here. This could be also um love. Mm hmm Maybe discussing commitments. All right, so seeing that energy there, if you pick card number three, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you are keeping busy, okay? You are keeping busy, but then there is this inside, internal energy of you're not very, you're not very happy. Um, you're, there's negative thoughts here that I'm picking up. Um, maybe someone's on your mind or you're working on something because there is a sense that you're either separated from someone or something. There's a recovery is what I'm picking up here. And I feel it's miraculous energies. Believe in miracles. Anything is possible is what I feel here. Uh, for some of you need to take a break. Maybe you've been working a lot. Get some rest. Okay. But I do feel miracles. Miracle. For some reason, I'm picking up miracles here, okay? The Fool, the Page of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Breaking free. Freedom. I feel freedom is screaming here. Also, there's something. Music is playing a part today. There's a lot of opportunities out there if we expand our horizons and not just... Worry about the future. Just stay in the present and just keep moving forward. It's a time to nurture ourselves. We're working on things that we want. Um, there are some responsibilities, but we need to balance it as well. 
We are at new beginnings, okay? I pick up a Taurus energy, a wish coming to fruition. Though we're still struggling with um, this feeling alone um, energy at times. This can be a trip coming up, travel. We've learned some lessons here that are valuable. We'll gain some more uh, confirmation. I feel there's a powerful new beginning opening up. Okay? New lines of communication. Truth's coming out. Seeing a situation clearly. I also feel a celebration is at hand. If it's not today, it's coming up. Okay? Very interesting. All right, that is the reading for today, September 29th, Wednesday. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. Happy birthday if you're born today, September 29th. This is a very quick and general reading. Your soul or your theme and your wish card. And your soul or your theme is the Eight of Swords. Honestly, I don't feel this card is too bad. Actually, I feel it should have been in reverse. You're lucky, huh? Because to have this card in reverse means you're breaking free out of the stagnation. Because I pick up the card is like this, okay? So let's just keep it this way because that's my intuition. When I'm seeing this, you are breaking free sometime, somehow. This is being more self-reliant. Um, for some of you, entrepreneur. Financially, um, um, financial independence, making your own money. Uh, breaking free, definitely, okay? So I do feel that some of you are going to quit jobs or maybe start your own business, change a direction and career in that, even home. But the only reason, the only thing is don't limit yourself, okay? Or don't fear being self-reliant somehow. But I feel the card should be this way, and it's not, but I do because I don't do reversals. I also feel that you will master something this year, something significant, and you will create financial uh, stability. I do feel some of you may be your own boss, uh, taking the lead in something. There is a strong, strong energy of money and success here, okay? Um, when it comes to work, career, school, it's going to be a fast-moving energy. I do feel that, too. Something may rush through really quickly. Maybe you take a crash course, um, or there is very fast-moving energy, all right? So there is um, also some significant news coming in that in that area. Finances, you're going to really have to be careful if you've been enabling anyone. It's time to make a firm decision to save for yourself um, and only spend where it's your financial responsibility is what I'm picking up here, okay? There is decisions you're going to have to make with finances. Maybe it's because you want to buy something or where do you want to invest? I do see that energy. When it comes to love, if you are single, um, I do feel for some of you, there's fears, codependent fears. Um, need, sometimes love, we mistake in love for... Um, for need, needing to be with someone. So this is a year where clarity will come through somehow an epiphany. Um, love is on divine timing. As soon as you break, uh, the, break yourself out of your shell, be free to receive. And I do feel love is on divine timing. For some of you are going to find love on a full moon. Interesting. If you are in a relationship, this is a year where you'd be taking your power back, speaking your truth, putting your borders up, okay? For some of you, you're not that interested in it. You could be a little bit uh, shut down, so be open with your partner too, okay? So I do feel that energy. There can be some jealousy there. Um, someone on the side could be trying to interfere. And I'm not saying that your partner is cheating on you or something like that. It's someone who is jealous or someone who wants to interfere. It's a little bit of evil eyeing, so be careful of that energy. When it comes to, um, oh, some of you will break free and want to be single. When it comes to all relationships, you're going to have to stand your ground. You're going to have to be very selective. It's a year of purging. 
um, the ones that have, you know, it's a time to move on, I feel, and stand standing your ground and weeding out, making that list. These people are okay. These are not. You're going to be see who your friends are and who are not. Okay? Um, yeah. Your wish for your solar year is the six of wands. Beautiful. I'm going to tell you right away. Few energies. Yes, it will come through. Some after a difficult uh, time. Yes, you've got some challenges ahead. For others, it's like just beautiful. It's a yes. Oh, it's a general reading though. All right. The important numbers for your solar year. 7, 1, 9, 2, 23, 6, 88, 66, 31, and 11. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a blessed solar year ahead and beyond. Everyone else, a wonderful Wednesday and bye for now.